Okay, guys, I, I lied a little bit. That wasn't the last section. I decided to split this up again. Again, these shorter videos are just easier to digest, and you could take a, you know, between each video, you could stop and do that, those homework versions. Uh, yeah, so this last part, solving exponential equations using logs. Okay. Now, we already solved some exponential equations where we didn't need logs. You don't need logs if you could get the bases to be the same. All right, so for example, this first one, uh, and again, we did these a couple weeks ago, 2 to the x power equals 16. Well, the property of equality for exponential functions is kind of similar to the, to the logarithms. The bases have to be the same. So we're going to have to rewrite 16. And instead of writing 16, we're going to say it's 2 to the 4th power. Because 16 is 2 to the 4th power. So now once you have the bases the same, you got 2 to the x equals 2 to the 4th, which means the exponents have to be the same, okay? which means that x has to be 4. Okay. Same thing on this other one. This one's a little longer. You have a base of 3 and you have a base of 27, but luckily we could rewrite 27 as 3 to the 3rd power. And it's still being raised to the 2x power. You always want to make the bigger base become a smaller version. So now that our bases are the same, we'll get rid of them. And only concentrate on the exponent part. So on the left side, you have 5x minus 7. On the right side, you have 3 to the 2x power. Remember, when, you, when you have a power raised to a power, you always multiply. All right, we'll just solve this equation. 5x minus 7 equals 3 times 2x. So 5x minus 7 equals 6x. If we subtract, let's see, we could subtract the 5x over. It's going to leave us with 7 on the left equals 1x on the right. So x equals negative 7. So again, we were able to solve those because we could just make the base become the smaller version of it. When do you need logs? Well, we're going to need logs when it's impossible to get the bases to be the same. And the steps for a problem like this is you want to isolate the exponential term, rewrite it as a log, solve using a calculator and the change of base formula if needed. All right, so this one, two to the seventh power, or two to the x power equals seven. There's no way of rewriting seven to come, to become a base of two. All right, so we go through the steps. Isolate the exponential term. Okay, the exponential term is two to the x power. It's already isolated. So it's, if there's anything else on that side, you'd have to move it over. All right, step two, rewrite it as a log. Again, remember the pattern. The base of the exponent becomes the base of the log. The answer to an exponent is the big number in the log. And then the exponent is the answer to a log. Okay. So we need to find log base 2 of 7 equals x. Now, the only way we could do that is using the change of base formula. Change of base formula is if you want to find x, it's going to be the common log of the big number, 7, divided by the common log of the small number, the base, 2. Okay. And you'll need a calculator to solve that. Log 7 divided by log 2 is about 2.81. And you could check your answer because, again, the answer to a logarithm is the exponent that makes the base the answer of the log. So 2 raised to the 2.81 power should give you 7. All right, I'll do these two example problems. Okay. Uh, isolate the exponential part. That part's already done. Okay, so we move on to the second step. 
which is convert to a log. This log is going to be log base 3 of 13 equals x plus 1. Now again, we can't evaluate, we can't do log 3 of 13. You're going to need a calculator to do that. So we'll use the change of base formula. And find the log of 13 divided by the log of 3. And that it's going to equal x plus 1. Now log 13 over log 3 is equal to about 2.33. Still equals x plus 1. So finally to solve for x, we're going to subtract 1 on both sides. Minus 1, minus 1. So that means 1.33 is going to be x. Again, you could check that by plugging it back into the original problem for x. All right, now the last one. The last one has that first step. The first step being isolate the exponential term. This exponential term is not isolated because there is a plus 5 there. So our first step is going to be to subtract 5. Okay. And then we're solving 10 to the x power equals 55. Convert to a log. Okay. Log base 10, so that's a common log, of 55 equals x. So this one actually turns out to be a little easier than normal because we could do log base 10 of 55. Okay. Remember log base 10, this thing's going crazy again. Log base 10 is just the common log calculator log. The button on the calculator that says log is log base 10. So in your calculator you can just plug in log 55, hit enter, and you get x equals 1.74. Okay. Alright, so that's it. I do want to give some hints on the homework which is on the next two pages. Okay, that's it for the notes. For the homework, okay, I'm just going to say what scenario each of these is, are, is. This first problem is scenario one. Bases are the same. The second one, you're going to have to condense first. The third one, is also a condensed problem. Okay. The fourth one, since both of them don't have logs, you're gonna have to rewrite as an exponent. fifth one, you're going to have to condense and then rewrite. Okay. The sixth one, you're going to have to rewrite that as a log. Are there more? No, nope, nope. there's only those six. All right, so just those six. I'm going to give you two days to work on this because it's a lot. All right. Enjoy the rest of your, uh, your day.